Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we would be doing the last set of questions from the back exercise of chapter 5 of class 11th NCRT book of computer science with Python. Okay, so this is question number 16. We have covered all the previous questions in the previous video exercise back exercise videos. So you can refer to those videos in case you have missed those questions. Okay, so starting with question number 16. The question says that you have to write a program to repeat the string which is good morning n number of times and n is given as an input, an integer input by the user. So when you have to write the program to do so, first you will accept n as an input from the user and convert it to the int data type and then you will use this value of n to repeat the string good morning. Okay. Now, how will you do so? You will use the string good morning and multiply it with n, the value that how many times you have to repeat the string. And now in this case, multiplication is an overloaded operator. That means it is performing the operation of concatenating the string with itself n number of times. Okay. Coming to the next question, question number 17. The question asks you to write a program to find the average of three numbers. So if you have to find the average of three numbers, you first need to take user input. That means you need to ask the user for the three numbers whose average you want to calculate. So I have uh, written the three input statements and stored the three numbers in the variables A, B and C. Now to calculate the average, I have applied the formula a plus b plus c divided by 3 and make sure you do not forget these parentheses because first the uh, summation of the three numbers has to be computed and then only it must be divided by 3 okay then you can print the average value that you have computed now the next question is volume of a sphere with radius r is 4 by 3 pi r cube and you have to write a python program to find the volume of spheres which have the radius r equal to 7 centimeter 12 centimeter and 16 centimeter so uh, as we know that uh, in this case you you directly have to apply the formula and your program will give you the required input uh, required output based on the input you have given so there are two ways of doing it either you write the program in which there is a single print statement and that program accepts the value of the radius and depending upon the value of the radius that you have entered it will give you the output or the second way of writing the program is that you fix the three values of radius because it has been specified in the question like I have also done I have used three variables to store the three radius and then I have used three print statements to print the volume of the spheres corresponding to these three radius in uh, using the three print statements okay and in each of the following print statements I have applied the formula 4 by 3 again in brackets because I want this operation to take precedence multiplied by 22 by 7 which is the value of pi and multiplied by r1 exponentiation operator 3 that means r cube i'm performing uh, i'm performing the taking the power of 3 for r1 and similarly for r2 and r3 okay coming to the next question question number 19 so in this question uh, the we have to write a program that first asks the user to enter their name and age and once the user enters their name and age we have to print a statement or we have to print a message that will tell the user that in which year starting from the current year they will turn 100 years old okay so if you have to tell someone that you uh, when they will turn 100 years old what you do you uh, take the current year and add 100 minus their current age to it okay so this will tell this will tell them the year in which they would turn 100 years old so uh, since i have to take the name and age as input from the user i have written two input statements please note that in the first 
input statement i have not performed explicit type conversion because i want the name to be as string okay then in a variable named current year i have stored the current year which is 2021 and then i have computed the 100th year that means the a the year in which the person will turn 100 and the formula that i have applied is current year plus 100 minus age so if currently someone is 20 years old then this formula would become 2021 plus 100 minus 20 that means 2021 plus 80 okay so since we have to uh, print a statement informing the user about the same and we have to use both the name as well as the 100th year that we have calculated so i have written hello the name of the user will be coming here and then you will turn 100 years old in this particular year that has been calculated okay now the next question is the formula e equal to mc square states that the equivalent energy is calculated as mass multiplied by the speed of light squared write a program that accepts the mass of an object and determines its energy so in all these questions you have been specified the formula similarly here also you have you have been given the formula for calculating the energy so first you will take as user input the mass of the object and this mass should be in kilograms because the formula explicitly tells you that the mass is in kilograms and the energy that will be computed it would be in joules okay so i have fixed the value of the variable c that means the speed of light to be 3 into 10 exponentiation operator 8 that means 3 into 10 raised to power 8 and then to calculate the energy i have multiplied both these values so uh, m multiplied by c square that means c exponentiation operator 2 and then i have printed the value of energy now coming to the last question the last question says that there is a ladder that is put up against the wall and two variables length and angle store two kinds of values length stores the length of the ladder that has been put up and angle stores the angle that the ladder forms with the ground when it is leaning against the wall so we have to write a python program that will find out the height till which the ladder reaches when the ladder is inclined at different angles okay so uh, whenever you have such a question you must remember that in such a case the mathematical formula that will be applied would be sin of the angle is equal to height till which the ladder reaches divided by the length of the ladder and in this case since we have to find out the height so height will be equal to length multiplied by sin of the angle at which it is leaning now sin is the mathematical function which is present in the math module of the python programming language so if we have to use this particular function you will have to import that module the math module in your programs and also you make sure that the angle that you are providing to the sin function must be in radians then only the formula the answer would be right okay so this is the program that i have written for you so first i import the math library then i take the user input two variables and uh, store it in two variables the length of the ladder and the angle in degrees that it is forming with the wall now why i have taken the angle in degrees because in most cases the angle is known to be in degrees and will in our program we will convert it in radians again we will use the math library of the python programming language to convert the angle in degrees to angle in radians and then we will be using it in the formula so angle in radians is computed as math dot radians and we have supplied the original angle here so uh, then we calculate the height length multiplied by sin of the angle in radians and you cannot directly write the sin function you will have to call it using the math library okay then uh, whatever height is computed you can print it 
now since the um, the book was specifying four different values of length and angle at which you had to calculate the 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 height of the ladder on the wall so uh, these are the four parts and when you uh, put these values at, into this program when you supply these values as an input to this program you would get these corresponding answers for the height okay so that was all for chapter number five we have completed this chapter and from the next class we would be beginning with the next chapter of class 11th ncrt computer science with python that would be chapter number six flow of control so stay tuned to our channel let us know if you want to study any specific topic related to any computer science subject or if you want us to give us give us your feedback how to improve our lectures so let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching stay tuned till we meet in the next video mind your exam